Hi guys, back again with another video. Now in this video, we are going to do the waterproofness test of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. So we are going to put it in the swimming pool for 10 minutes and then see if it's going to survive or not. Now this is 5 feet of water. This is going to be a water pressure test. So regular water and stuff, if you put on it, it just uh, there's a coating on it which just uh, uh, makes the water just uh, go away so it doesn't stay on it. So that is the uh, only for big for something coating. Uh, but does it uh, handle pressure, water pressure? That's what we are going to test. So let's go ahead, start with the test and then talk more about it. Eleven minutes. Okay. Okay. So it's still working. Surprisingly, no water nowhere. Uh, I mean, uh, no what? I mean, indication anywhere. Nothing. Uh, let's do this also. Let's see if it works. Woo! 
<laughs> it still works. Thank God. Okay, now let's take it to the steam room and see if it works there or not. Okay, so we're going to do the steam room test now. So we're going to keep the phone in the steam room for 10 minutes and then see if it survives. So it says 11. So it says uh, 11:50 right now. So by 12, we should be done. Okay, so you've seen the video. So I've actually uh, tested this three days back. So I used it for three days to see if there is uh, any effect on this or if there's any fogging or uh, any any issues coming up with this. But no issues, working fine. I've actually done the swimming pool test before also. I've used it in the pool, but I didn't keep it there for 10 minutes. So this was the first time I actually looked online to see if uh, people have done the sea test. So th there are a lot of people who put it in the river and sea and stuff. And I couldn't find any video. So I was a little afraid that this is going to go bad because of the S Pen. So the S Pen is actually that big, which goes into uh, the phone. So there is a big chamber which gets filled with water. So I was scared of that, that what if that chamber leaks and then water goes in. Uh, and the other thing I was scared of was the S Pen itself, that the S Pen might stop working. So no issues, completely waterproof this is a water resistant device ip68 uh, uh, water resistant device so i call it waterproof because it is waterproof till some time so uh, as you use the phone slowly the waterproofness will go down uh, and in a few years if you t do the same test this might fail so uh, don't put it in the swimming pool don't take it to these places uh, if it goes there then it will be fine uh, it has uh, uh, enough protection to save it from water but I would not advise you to take it to uh, swimming pools and stuff because it is dangerous water is the enemy of any electronic device so just keep it away from water but if it goes in water nothing will happen to it so that we've seen in this test but uh, if your phone goes bad in a water situation if uh, uh, water goes into it there is no uh, warranty claim for it so that's what you have to remember so even if you have a water resistant device water goes in and spoils it you won't get any warranty so uh, that's why i tell you not to do this don't do what i did but uh, now that you've seen, you know that uh, it is possible. Now, uh, one thing before I end this video, I want to tell you is don't take any water resistant or waterproof device in seawater. So seawater has salts in it and even swimming pool, uh, the chlorine reacts to it. So as soon as I'm done with my test, I always wash my uh, phone with uh, regular water so that there is no residue in it, uh, uh, no chlorine, no nothing. And if you take it to the sea, I would say it's a big no-no. I have actually lost a few devices to the sea because uh, the salts in it will remain in the charging port in the uh, um, in the mesh the speaker mesh and all these places and it will corrode it in time and your waterproof device will no longer be waterproof and uh, avoid steam rooms 
I did that test, but please don't do that because uh, steam rooms, uh, there would be a lot of heat and heat is what they use to open up sealed devices. So you put heat on it and then remove it. So with heat in time, the uh, glue around it will go a uh, little loose and then water will go in. So remember not to take it in the heat and in the sea, rest everything is fine. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video. Bye bye.